fairly straightforward calculation is about $425,000. So what about apartments? Again, it depends on the kind of apartments that get built. Um, you guys all know that you know, the Hilliard community has had a couple of thousand apartments developed over the last uh, few years. Um, some of them, uh, you may know the one that's called the Brooklyn's, that's right beside the Giant Eagle up there. Um, that is a, a very expensive apartment complex. It generates almost a million dollars a year in property tax just for the school district. And there's very few kids there. There's like 10 kids there. So it's like it's a big um, commercial building as far as the school district is concerned. And so build all of those you want. We love all those kids. <laughs> Um, we also have apartment communities in Hilliard where there's more than four kids and there are apartments. And, um, and so those things kind of all have to balance out in the, in the big picture. Um, so with apartment complexes, again, you know, it's a similar number. It has to be worth about uh, half a million dollars per student for the apartment complex to pay for itself. So a um, few students, you know, are not such a big deal. A lot of students, it's got to be a pretty expensive um, place to pay for itself. And so talking to the city leaders, which they're going to be in here tonight, um, a city can mitigate the impact of this. This is something, um, if I've ever talked to you or maybe heard comments I've made before, I've been on this riff kind of for uh, 10 years now in our community that we need to have balanced development. Uh, the best way to help fund the school districts is to have commercial development come in at about the same pace. Um, and I'll tell you that in the Columbus part of our school district, it's actually, that's where the most of the commercial development is in the school district. Um, and there's right now a pretty good balance the, the, um, the, the statistic we pay attention to is the value per student, uh, market value per student in the school district. And it's about the same for both the Columbus and the Hilliard part of our, our school district. Um, so even though there's higher density housing, perhaps in the Columbus part of our school district, there's also a great deal of commercial development. You think about things like the UBSO, um, Baranor, Elo Heim, Drug Place over on uh, Wilson Road. All of the development of South of Roberts on uh, <coughs> the in the city of Columbus generates you know, wonderful amount of property tax. So it's really about.